It has been a long standoff, but a solution has to be found. The wheels of the economy were on the knees as truckers are packed in protest of alleged harassment whenever they enter the Democratic Republic of Congo via Kasumbalesa. But after a nearly three hours meeting, the two governments agreed on something. Zambia's Defense Minister Ambrose Lufuma read the agreements on behalf of the Zambian government. The trucks which have been marooned okay. and stretch from here up to Kitwe start moving first thing early in the morning from 06 hours to 20 hours. This is a commitment that we have given in order for us to uh, smoothen and hasten uh, the passage of these trucks into Congo. Secondly, the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo will provide security for the trucks by providing three security patrol vehicles on a 24-7 basis. We have agreed finally to put some of these points enfin, pour with a few points others that I have not mentioned pour, avec qui ne sont pas ici, in a memorandum of understanding dans un that will be signed qui sera signé between our two brotherly countries. And the Congolese delegation was led by Hout Katanga Deputy Governor Jean Cloud Kamfa Kimimba. All this has been indicated here. I would like to see our brothers to start movement freely tomorrow morning. And this will be a pleasure for our two head of states and to all our brothers and sisters of the two countries. For the trackers, their conditions have been met. I therefore wish to appeal and request our comrades behind the wheels. Your request for justice has been responded to by the two heads of state through our honorable ministers and the deputy governor. Therefore, there is no need to be hesitant about your security. I wish to appeal to everyone to resume work tomorrow, six hours. Clinton Masumban, ZNBC News, at the Kasumbalesa border in Chirirawombe district. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.